seven and a half here again for the back of the neck as well now same thing with this you don't want your neck too far off the bench you don't want it too close here obviously where your throat's hit come off just enough where you come in all the way you know just off here so it's just up under my upper chest here we're gonna come all the way down nothing hits the bench you need to come up a little bit more now Thing here with this, like how the front, how you come all the way up and crunch, like you do a sit up, you do not do this in the back, a complete crunch. You leave a little bit of room, so from, you come here, full stretch, up to about here. You do not pinch all the way up. You're gonna be pinching, you know what I'm saying, the vertebrae and everything in the neck, and you can be pinching nerves in the neck and all. So you don't wanna pinch all the way doing the back crunch assist. You'll see as I do them, I'm not I'm coming up good, but I'm not doing that last little bit to get that extra crunch in there just for safety reasons and now you can have your legs up I'm throw them down it anchors me a little bit better um again your lower back is going to want to try to take off take over a little bit too you can try putting one hand down that helps me sometimes feel my neck more than doing them both so you can alternate and make sure it's even that works for you, try it. If it doesn't work for you, keep them up both. But that's a tip that has worked for me a good bit. Don't push with your hand, just let it be support. Oh, like I said, putting the hand down, you'll notice as you go a little bit heavier in weight like this, um, your lower back is going to start taking over a little bit. And for me, I'll start feeling a little bit lower, like kind of up in my upper traction. You now those muscles, neck muscles do run down through there. But, you know, mainly I want to feel up here in my actual, you know, the neck, the circumference of the neck. So by putting the hand down, it really lets me target that a little bit more. Um, other ones I do very rarely would be the side neck crunches. I'm not going to put this in this video tutorial. I'll probably do one of those again and I'm going to actually go to do those. Um, but I've also heard too, um, now I very, very rarely do train my neck because I think I just, I mean, I kind of naturally already have a pretty good sized neck. You know, so it's not like a pencil neck by any means. I say if you do have a small neck, train it a little more frequent. Um, but, you know, just constantly monitor it. Um, one thing uh, Gregor Gallo was saying, and I hadn't studied or anything, but he was even saying like, uh, forget the actor, but he was saying basically, a neck's one of the muscles, like once you build it, it's not really necessarily gonna go anywhere, which I don't know how true that is, but he did show some examples of people who have really th thick necks. And uh, it was just basically saying like, once your neck is really thick, it's basically kind of gonna stay that size, which I don't know, I'm, I, I would think you could detrain it as well, like any other muscle, but I don't know 100%. Seems like, you know, it would detrain as like, if, I, if you was hammering a lot, but then you stop, but maybe since it's like something you, you're, kind of using a little bit all day maybe it'll stay around so you don't want your neck too damn big it actually can interfere with breathing and stuff mainly if you sleep on your back but that's not all, all, already the healthiest choice to be sleeping on your back anyway so better to sleep on your side but just if you look in the mirror you don't think your neck's in proportion you know start throwing these in you don't have to do supersets with them back to back 
I just hadn't done them in a while, so I want to do them on the same day, just to, you know, stimulate them both. Um, you can split them up, one on this day, one on that day. I just do one set, uh, basically to failure. Uh, that's plenty enough for stimulus and growth. Um, and like Gregor Gallagher and Alpha Destiny Alex, I don't know his last name, and even Jeff Nipper, they're doing a lot more weights than I'm doing. I do very high reps with them. I don't, I'm, you know, I'm slowly building up, like very, very, very slowly. So I just did 55 reps on one and 26 reps, 27 reps on the other. So, you know, I'm going to wait. I probably may up the weight now on the back one just because I'm at 55. You know what I mean? Like 50 might be the, pretty much the goal I'm going to hit for the back of the neck, and then I'll go up. So, you know, I'm keeping the reps very high here. Um, I would think the neck's a very slow twitch muscle meaning like it's got a lot of red muscle fibers in it which respond better to higher rep training but i mean both would be useful as well but i don't just for health reasons you don't want to go too too heavy on neck exercises but again i think they're using like a 35 pound plate or 45 pound plates so i think even after destiny was using like multiple 45 pound plates so um you know if i progress up there i'll progress up there but i'm not like shooting trying to get a whole plate or 35 where i'm just mainly stimulating to grow some I don't like I say it's not like a weak point on my body but I just want to make sure um, that it doesn't lag behind as everything else keeps growing as I'm bulking and to really assess the physique I'll have to wait till I get very lean like I'm about to get on the cut very soon I'll get very lean see then you can really see what you look like when you're very lean see where you really need to you know build muscle and whatnot all right that's it for the video Thank y'all for watching. See y'all on the next one. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Go make y'all some gains. See y'all on the next one. Peace out.